What's up guys? Today we're talking about D2021s. These amazing dodecahedrons are cut out of solid curly maple, in this case, and Macassar ebony, in this case. The really cool part about these is that they have a 21 instead of a 20 because it is the year 2021. So we took the regular dice that we make, and instead of a 20, we put a 21 on it. This was Anne's idea. Nice work, Anne. Uh, we offer this in maple with the Phoenix motif. Uh, these are engraved numbers, uh, just like the dice that we normally make. Really nice entry point. They're like 20, 21 bucks, something like that. So you can get in, grab a D2021, commemorate the Phoenix, and get on board. We also have a hand applied mother of pearl inlay in Macassar ebony for a little bit of an upgrade. So depending on your preference, you wanna go fire or you wanna go ash, totally up to you. So the Z2021s are crafted on a fourth axis CNC, much the same way the mini painter is created out of a long piece of wood. Uh, it goes on the CNC, I feed the models into it and it gets really close to the final appearance. Uh, from there, they're taken off and they're cut down by hand, hand sanded on every surface they're engraved on a laser. Obviously, we hold it in the right spot on the laser. There's no automation here. All done by hand. Um, and in the case of the Macassar Ebony, the inlay is also applied by hand. So it's a very, very concise, time-consuming process for us to do, but ends up with a really, really nice looking pair of wooden 2021s. In terms of rolling, the maple is a lighter wood, uh, probably comparable to like a regular plastic D20. Um, the Magasar Ebony tends to be a little bit heavier, so a little bit weightier, but it's not gonna like drag you down or over encumber your character. Um, one other thing, guys, um, one of the backers suggested in the comments section that we have a limited edition Kickstarter exclusive Phoenix Plexi panel for the player pad. So we've gone ahead and done that. That'll be available as a selection in the pledge manager once, you, once the campaign is over. Pretty cool, it's got 2021. The Phoenix is cut all the way through. Not big enough to let any dice or anything fall out, but. Looks pretty killer. 